Hi, this is Denise Vidoc, and I recently did a video on Google Keep and how to make it more visually appealing, changing colors, changing the backgrounds, and moving around some of the checklists to make sub checklists. And I wanted to expand on that a little bit um, because Google Keep is more than just standalone sticky notes. So let me show you a little bit of what it can do. So I'm just right here in Google Keep right now, and these are some of the notes that I had and um, probably a couple extras. And um, I'm gonna show you how they can integrate with your Gmail and with your calendar and um, with other places as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, uh, let's start with, let's go to Gmail. pull up this category and if you'll notice um, on the right hand side I don't know if you've noticed these icons but you can integrate with your calendar and keep and tasks and contacts but we're going to work with keep today so I'm just going to click this open and it's just going to open this little side window and what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for um, a confirmation that I had for like a reservation and so I've got the note open and I want to take some of the information from here and put it into the sticky note. So I'm just going to copy this. I'm just going to select on it and you can right click and hit copy or you can use the control C, which is the keystroke combination that I use all the time. And so up here at the top right, it says take a note. Now, if I click on that, before I do anything else, it's already got a link back to this particular email. So I'm just going to hit control V, which is paste, and it's going to put my information in here. And what I'm going to do to make this even easier is I'm going to put in the title, um, this is Yewa Creek, and I'm going to copy the confirmation number, and I'm going to type site 12. So I've got all the pertinent information that I need right there in the title of the note. So I'm going to hit done. And I'm going to go back into Google Keep. And you notice that my note is already right here. So I'm going to click on it. I'm going to open it up and I'm just going to, we're going to change it yellow and I'm going to give it a label so that it puts it in my camping group. And I can change the information if I want to. You know, I can let's put a space in between there. Take out that because it's not, it doesn't have any images or anything from, you know, when you do for text or links or anything like that. It's pretty much just text. So I've got all my information here now. And you can see that it's got the link to the email and I could click on that and it's going to open up Gmail. Even if I had it closed, it's going to open up Gmail and it's going to take me right to that particular um, email. So you can do this from the, your website here or you can also do it from your mobile device. So if you're getting to the campground and you want your information, you've got your you know, your need to know and your um, rules and everything else that you need to know that's right here in your email. So that's how you can integrate your email. So now let's integrate it into our calendar. So we've got this reservation. I know it says August 6th, but we're going to change it to a future date. And uh, we're going to put a reminder on this and we're just going to pretend that this is okay. We're going to do next Friday. And check-in time is at three, but we know we're not going to be there at three because we have to get off work and we have to hitch up and we have to, you know, put the last refrigerator stuff in and all that. So we're not going to get there till 4.30 p.m. So if I hit save now, you see the bell, the bell has a circle around it that tells you that there's a reminder on it. And you can also see the time here. So I'm going to close this. <coughs> And we're going to go to the calendar and here is my sticky note. 
So I can pull that up and you can see that I've got my reservation number and the site number right there because it's only going to show you like the first couple of lines here in the calendar. It's this is uh, it puts it into the reminders uh, part of your calendar. It's not actually a calendar appointment. It's just a reminder. But if you want to see it, you see the dots that tells you that there's more text. So you can just click on that and that takes you back to Google Keep. So it's it's definitely a back and forth type of deal. So if you're in, not sure, oh, I must have pulled up the wrong one. Let's get back to the calendar. And the calendar is gonna have this sidebar also. I'm going to just refresh it real quick to make sure we've got the right ones. And the newest note that I did is up here at the top. And if I click on it to make any, any changes to it, um, if I hit done, it doesn't mean that I'm marking the calendar, the reminder as done or complete. It only means that I'm done looking at that particular note. So I can hit done. And I had done a note earlier, I was playing with it. So that's why I have two of them showing up. So you can type your, um, you can do your label at the bottom like I did, I changed labels and I clicked camping. But if I wanted to add another kind of um, label to this, I could put like Somerville. And it actually creates a whole new label and it, um, and it creates it here on the side so I can see just, you know, just the reservations that I've done just for this. So you can do that. So um, what we did is we took the sticky note and we put a time and date on it. But let's go back to the top. And let's just say um, instead of putting an actual time, because we're not sure exactly what time we're going to get there, that we want to get this reminder. So I'm going to take that off. And I'm going to click on the remind me. And instead of picking a time and date, I'm going to pick a place. So I want to know, this is Yewa. Um, I want this reminder to pop up on my mobile device. It's on my phone. Um, I want this to pop up with the information when I get close to the park. So I don't have to dig out and look for my keep. And I don't have to look for the note. I just know that I'm going to have it right there in my reminders, in my notifications right there on my device. So you can set a time or a date. And like I've got my shopping set up here and it's set up to remind me when I get to HEB, the HEB that I normally shop at, when I get there, my shopping list is going to go ahead and, and show up in my notifications right there on my phone. So now we've taken an email and we've created a note. And then from the note, we've created a calendar appointment. But you can go the other direction. So let's go into calendar. And let's just click on one here. And the same thing, I've clicked on my calendar. Or yeah, this one's actually a calendar appointment. I've clicked here, so I hit take note. And it's going to automatically be linked. Debbie has a spot reserved. There's a camp, the RV park right behind the dance hall, which is convenient. So I hit done and I can come back to my notes and it's gonna be right here. So another thing that you can do is you can use, you can link a note to another note. Here, what I've got is I've got my takedown list and it starts off and it says, okay, do your pre-travel list. And you can't just come in here and, and select on text and right click and say, add a URL or anything like that. You can do it, but you have to kind of manipulate the system. So we're gonna look for our pre-travel list. And I know that's in my camping. So here's my pre-travel list. So let's open that note up and the, URL that's up here at the top of the page is for that particular note. 
So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to hit control C to copy. I'm going to close that and I'm going to go back to the note that I want to put it on. And I've got, I'm in the same checklist item. I'm just going to give it a couple spaces and I'm going to hit control V to paste it in here. And so now I've got, I've got the URL here. So if I want to go back and I want to look at the, the other note, it'll ask me, do I want to open the link? I'm going to hit yes or open the link. It's going to open Google Keep again, but it's going to bring up that next list. So from there, then I can go on and I can do the next part of my checklist. So that's how you can link notes together. And you can also, you can just create notes on your own. Like if I went to my website, okay, here's, here's the last video that I made. I'm going to right click here and just copy video URL. And I'm going to come back in. I've got too many windows open. I'm just going to click, click that. I'm going to put a little emoji in here just for fun. Video to watch. And I want to get a reminder later today. And I'm going to hit close. So now I've got a reminder that I want to watch this particular video. And it should be here on my calendar. Calendar today. Takes it a second to sync, but it's not very long. Yep. So here's my reminder at eight o'clock to watch this video. So as you can see, there, there are more than just individual sticky notes that are just on the page. You can actually get to them from multiple locations and you can have them pop up for you when you're ready to see them. So if you have any questions, you can pop them into the comments below and I appreciate you watching. Please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and hit the bell next to the subscribe because then you'll get notifications of all the new videos that I do. So thank you for watching. Have a good day.